to multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators together and we multiply the denominators together. So we multiply the two numbers on the top and we multiply the two numbers on the bottom. The first question here says work out one half times two fifths. So we're going to do one times two for the top and two times five for the bottom. One times two is two. 2 times 5 is 10, so we've got 2 tenths, and we can simplify that because the top and the bottom are both in the 2 times table, which makes it 1 fifth. We can half the top and half the bottom. So we can say 1 half times 2 fifths is 1 fifth. And you can also think of this as working out one half of two fifths. So it might make more sense if you think of it as one half of two fifths. So if you have if you half two fifths, you get one fifth. So you can always think of the, the time sign as an of. Question two, we've got two thirds times six sevenths. Again, we're going to times the top, two sixes are 12, and times the bottom, three sevens are 21. So we've multiplied them together. We can simplify our answer because 12 and 21 are both in the same times table. They are both in the three times table. So 12 is four threes and 21 is seven threes. So we can divide the top and the bottom both by three and we get four sevenths. So two thirds of six sevenths is four sevenths or two thirds times six sevenths is four sevenths. Okay, two for you to try here. So give these two a go now. Question one, we've got one quarter times two thirds. We're going to times the tops, so 1 times 2 is 2, times the bottom, so 4 threes are 12. So we've got two 12s. We can simplify our answer because they're both even. They're both in the 2 times table. So we half the top and half the bottom. Question 2, work out 3 fifths times 3 eighths. So again, times the top. 3 3's are 9, times the bottom, 5 8's are 40, and 9 and 40 aren't in any times table, they aren't both in any times table apart from the 1's, so we can't simplify it any further. So 9 40th's is our answer. Okay, this time we've got a mixed number, we've got mixed numbers to deal with. So we've got one and one quarter times two thirds. And to multiply these together, we need to change our mixed numbers into top heavy fractions before we can multiply them. So we need to convert them first. So we've got one and one quarter. So one whole one in quarters is four quarters. So we've got four quarters for one whole one plus another quarter. So we can say we've got five quarters. So one and one quarter is the same as five quarters. So we're going to work out five quarters times two thirds. Now we've converted them, we can just multiply the top and multiply the bottom. So five times two is 10. Four threes are 12, and we've got 10 twelfths. We can simplify it by half in the top and half in the bottom. So five sixths. Question two, we've got two and one fifth times three and three quarters. So we need to convert them to top heavy first. So we've got two whole ones and one fifth. So in fifths, two whole ones are worth 10. 
2 times 5 is 10. So we've got 10 fifths and 1 fifth, which is 11 fifths. So 2 and 1 fifth is the same as 11 fifths. We're multiplying that by. So we've got 3 and 3 quarters. In quarters, 3 whole ones is 12 quarters. 3 fours are 12. So 12 quarters plus 3 quarters is 15 quarters. So we've got 11 fifths times 15 quarters. Sometimes, and this is probably a good example, it's easier to simplify before we multiply. So we're going to do 11 times 15, and we're going to do 5 times 4. So our answer is going to be 11 times 15 over 5 times 4. And we can see that the top and the bottom here are both in the 5 times table. So 15 is 3 fives, and 5 is 1 five. So if I divide top and bottom by 5, I can change it into 11 times 3 over 1 times 4. 11 threes are 33, and 1 four is 4. If we had done 11 times 15 and 5 times 4, and we could have simplified afterwards, but it would have just, just been harder to simplify. So we've got 33 over 4. That's our answer, but we need to give it as a mixed number. So how many whole ones do we have? How many 4s go into 33? So 8 4s are 32. So we can have 8 whole ones, which makes 32 quarters. And we've got one more quarter. So we've got eight whole ones and one quarter. I'm going to quickly show you how you would do this on a calculator now. So if we wanted to write two and one fifth times three and three quarters, we're going to use the button above the fraction button. So shift fraction button. So if I shift fraction button, I get this format. So I can write 2 and 1 fifth times, and I shift fraction button again, 3 and 3 quarters. Press equals, I get 33 over 4. But then what if I want it as a mixed number? I shift S to D. So S to D button will change it to a decimal. If I shift, then S to D, it will change it to a mixed number. So 8 and 1 quarter. Okay, two of these for you to do without a calculator. So give them a go. We've got 2 and 1 six times 2 sevenths. So let's change this into a top heavy first. So 2 six is a 12, plus 1 is 13. So we've got 13 sixths times 2 sevenths times the top. So 13 times 2 is 26 times the bottom. 6 sevenths are 42. And then these are both even. So we can half the top and the bottom, which gives us 13 over 21. And that's our answer. For question two, we've got two and three fifths. So two fives are ten. So we've got ten fifths plus three fifths, which is thirteen fifths, times one whole one and two thirds. So a whole one is three thirds plus two, so five thirds. So we've got thirteen times five over 5 times 3 and we can divide top and bottom by 5 which leaves us with 13 thirds so how many whole ones do we get do we have how many times does 3 go into 13 so 4 3s are 12 
So we've got four whole ones. That's 12 thirds. And we've got one more. So four whole ones and one third. And let's finish up. Three questions for you to try. Pause the video and give them a go. So question one, we've got two sevenths times seven eighths. So we're going to times the top and times the bottom. So we'll have two times seven over seven times eight. You could multiply them and then simplify afterwards. But I'm going to simplify first. So divide top and bottom by seven, which gives us two over eight. And then half the top and the bottom, which is going to be one quarter. So we've got one quarter. If you did two times seven and got 14 and seven times eight and got 56, then you could divide top and bottom by 14 or seven and two, and you should simplify it back to one quarter. Question two, two fifths times one and three eighths. So we have to change one and three eighths into a top heavy fraction. One whole one is eight eighths plus three eighths, which is 11 eighths. So we've got two times 11, which is 22, over five times eight, which is 40. They're both even, so we're half the top and the bottom, which gives us 11 twentieths. And question three, one and three fifths. So one five is five plus three is eight. So that's eight fifths times two and five six. So two sixes are 12 plus five is 17. So we've got eight fifths times 17 sixths. So this is a tough one. We can make it a bit easier for ourselves by halving the top and the bottom before we multiply. So half the top and the bottom. So we've got four times 17. So double 17 is 34. Double again, 68. Over five threes, which are 15. So we've got 68 over 15. We'll give our answer as a mixed number. So how many 15s go into 68? That's four, which makes 60. So we've got four whole ones and eight more.